Okay, so today I'm going to go over replacing the hard drive or fixing the hard drive of an iPod Classic. Whenever you have an iPod that's corrupted and has, whenever you try to turn it on, has a big X, that's usually something to do with the hard drive or the battery. But before you just go assuming it's either one, uh, an easy way to tell is hit the menu in the center, and as soon as it goes black, immediately go to the center and the back button. And what that does is it goes into the software and you can run a bunch of tests on it. <clears throat> it goes to this white screen. And if you need uh, help learning how to take off the back, just go to another video. There's tons. Uh, just hit menu as soon as you get there. Go down to I.O. on the scroll wheel. Hit the center button. Go all the way down to hard drive. Hit HDD specs. It'll say open device. Uh, well, mine will say fail. Or error can't open device because I have a bad hard drive and if this doesn't work if this makes if it's fine if it if there's no error when the red X goes then you will run a diagnostics on the battery but now that you know that it is the hard drive to replace the hard drive you will here unplug it Flip it on its back, and once you move this damn lamp, once you know how to open it and you've opened it correctly, you will want to take it and move very carefully. Move it. Take the power strip plug in the bottom right-hand corner. Pull that out. You can reattach it at the end, so don't worry about permanently messing it up and then this this is the actual hard drive and mine it is totally well this is my brother's iPod <laughs> but my brother doesn't know anything about this crap but um so mine is totally messed up so I'm totally gonna have to take it out but if before you just throw yours away try here, I'll flip it upside down to see, see it better. This little orange strip is the main thing of focus. So, before, you gotta flip this tab back to allow it to open. And do not directly pull the orange tab away from the hard drive. That will completely, that will completely unactivate it. It'll make it unable to put it back in. So, after that, you pull it directly away from this, and if it's just un unaligned or whatever, you can try putting it back in. You'll feel it go back in into slot before, and then you close back down. It'll kind of clamp it shut, hold its place. And usually, if the hard drive doesn't work, that'll do the trick. I actually, before I knew this hard drive was bad, I tried it multiple times just to make sure. I would always suggest you do that. Flip this back down. Here, I'll move it back this way. Make sure your hard drive is pushed back down into its original spot. I took out all of its padding just because this thing's useless. And then before you close it back up and wonder what's wrong with it, you gotta remember to plug back in the power strip. And Always make sure you don't mess this up because it's kind of tricky to align right. You'll you'll know when it's in there. Oh, hold on. Sorry about this. God damn it. There you go. 
back in, close the back, and then turns back on. And if you have a new hard drive in, it should turn right back on, but since mine, it's still the same old hard drive, goes back to that. And that is how you replace hard drive of an iPod Classic.